Hello there, welcome back, and today we are going to start work on some of the UI for this chest. Uh, we got it rigged, we got it animated, we have the scripting, uh, some of it animated, but now we need to work on some pop-ups for when someone uh, wants to open this chest. It's a reward chest, but this one is a random reward when you open it, um, but you have to pay to open it for this particular one that we're working on. Uh, that was the original request um, that started this video series. Uh, so we're going to work on some UI today and I'm going to be using a program uh, GIMP2 I believe is the current version. Um, just some uh, basic editing software for making some pictures. I'm going to create a new image here this size is going to be fine, I think, for us. Um, I mean, we don't need anything fancy. So let's see. That should, we could maybe go bigger, but I don't think we need to. So we'll just start with this. Um, and it's, it's a little small. Let's go, let's double this. Let's make it 1280 and 800. Oh, there we go. That's better. So some of this stuff, let's see if we can hide a little bit of this because I'm going to need my whole screen here. Perfect. All right. I don't like a white background. I need a clear background. So let's make a new layer. Uh, we'll just name it back and delete this and there might be a way to clear that other layer but I don't know what it is but this works great and I'm gonna get my select tool and it's a pirate chest so we're gonna make sort of an old uh, sort of cartoony and simple but an old uh, kind of map so I'm just gonna start in this corner I'm um, using just like free movement and I'm just gonna start basically drawing what I would think for the outline of this. Um, make some stuff like this. And then we'll just keep going all the way around uh, like this. Just make it look and I'm going to actually put a little, I'm going to angle this here, right there. And that's because I would like to have a little tab in the corner there. And then we'll just do this all the way. Maybe a little, um, let's see, yeah, we can move that suite there. In and all the way out to the corner, back up, make a little wedge there, and there, and then all the way up. Great, so we got that. Uh, let's go fill. And I was messing around with this already to test it. So I've got a light color here. It's pretty good for a map. Nice. I mean, we could maybe, we'll go with this. Oh, that looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm gonna name it backing. And I'm gonna rename this one. Where's the rename? I just need to click it, there we go. Main. This is our backing and we have a selection already. So what I'm going to do is select, I'm going to grow it by maybe five pixels. That's good. I'm going to select a darker color and fill that up and then drag that down to be behind. So we've got a nice border now. Uh, I just took the original selection, made it a little bigger and then, uh, gave it a dark background. So our main, select this color, could maybe be, you know, 
just uh, wait just a tad lighter I'm gonna deselect this uh, I don't like how it's not the edges were nice and crisp before uh, let's see if we can get threshold Oop. Uh, what happens if we make it oh zero is probably gonna yeah it's good that'll be fine for now actually I think let's do this let's shrink it by five pixels select this one make it a little lighter there we go that looks better okay so we've got a darker background uh, it could potentially be darker if we wanted to um, there we go that makes it pop more so we have our map there and I'm gonna add one new layer we're gonna name it front tab now we'll just name it front this is gonna go all the way in front get our selection I'm gonna zoom in I can just hold down control with this and scroll with my wheel and I'm gonna get between here and here and this tab would normally be here so it's got a shorter leg there so it's actually going to be slightly angled like so and then we're going to grab uh, I'm not going to grab as dark a color as the background uh, to fill this in um, but we'll take no, I'll take the lighter one and then uh, let's do select I don't think we can move it that's fine we're just gonna reselect another section like this um, let's move this down a little bit and there and there perfect and we're gonna make one new layer and we're gonna name it front backing and we're gonna get the dark and we're gonna fill it and then we're gonna drag it behind the front so it all blends together and now if we zoom out don't select everything nice that's looking sweet um, I like that uh, it's a nice little map and I say that's pretty good so let's go file uh, save and we'll just save it in our documents got random stuff here but we're just gonna save this as uh, we'll just save it as a pirate uh, we'll save it as like old cartoon pirate paper so we'll save it as that and then we've got to export it um, same place we just got to get the right format and yeah we'll just export cool so we've got our background that we're gonna use for our UI and I need to make one more new one and this one can be a lot smaller uh, this one just needs to be like I uh, know we'll do 128 and two um, what would be 256 and we're gonna mm, let's delete this layer delete that layer hey hey there we'll probably just create a new layer automatically for us when we start so let's zoom in and I just want to brush for this uh, so we'll, 
what I want is I've got this here and then I'm gonna put some text on it in Roblox and then I need um, I need some buttons here but I want to make it look like uh, someone kind of painted there so let's see what we've got here for uh, these size can be a lot bigger um, uh, let's make it new layer transparent we'll just name it uh, main there we go so that doesn't look right um, nope and you might just experiment uh, with what you've got that looks almost I want something that looks like a uh, a brush so the size is too big um, that could almost work but some of these don't uh, I want to brush real well. Let's just use this and we'll make it smaller. And I just want white. Uh, the reason you want to use white for these is because you can change the color in Roblox. You can change the uh, you, there's a color property for decals. So the map we could have actually made uh, gr on a grayscale as well. Um, but I didn't, uh, we didn't really need to, that's actually pretty good, um, but you can just experiment with something, uh, I'll actually like that one, let's, let's see if we can make this work, um, that, or, Let's use this one here. I just need like a single brush stroke basically that we're going to use as background. And I need it to fit inside here properly. We'll just Nope. That's close. There we go. Um, we'll just use that for now. Uh, which one do we have? We had like this one, I think. We can maybe use, we'll just use this to smooth it up a little bit. Bring the size down and size down a lot and actually use this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, uh, let's use. Oh, let's just try that. Uh, let's. Just export as uh, no button backer one as a PNG. Export, export. Sweet, we got that. Um, let's go to here and develop and decals. So we go to our develop tab. We're going to go to decals. And then we need to upload, choose our files. Uh, I want my, got lots of development stuff. But I want my documents. And I don't actually know where that went. Um, but we want to get these. Um, let's see here. Documents. It's hiding. Um, 
I don't know if there's a way to do recent. I just got a Windows. Re ah, there it is. There's one. We're going to upload. And the other one is going to be white and hidden. There it is. Upload that one. Sweet. Uh, so we'll grab both of these, open them up, and I need this ID. So let's go back to Studio now. And we're going to start putting together this UI. So we're going to go starter GUI, insert object, and I want a screen GUI. Nope. There it is, screen GUI. Insert a frame. And we'll name this one. This is the main one. And we can just leave a frame for now. And let's let's work on these properties here. Because we're going to be using this. Uh, so background color, we want it completely transparent background. Uh, border pixel size, I don't think, yeah, it doesn't show up. Um, position, size here, let's make this. So size, uh, this, on, this first number is a scale of your viewing window, and the right side is pixels. So right now it'll always be 100 by 100 pixels in size, no matter the size of your screen. If we change this to one, zero, one, zero, that'll always fill your screen. Uh, let's just make it 0.3 and 0.3. And you'll see here when we resize this, it changes, scales it to always be 0.3 of the distance from one side of here to the other. Uh, so that'll work. That'll just keep it uh, nice on any size and shape of screen that we're working with. Um, that's fine for now. Let's insert another object. And we're going to make the background. So we're going to need an image. And this is going to be one by one. So this is going to be scaling to exactly the size of this frame. And I want this asset ID. And I already copied my map. There we go. Uh, the background for this, we want that. Ah, that's looking nice. Um, size, position. And if we wanted, you know, we could edit the color a little bit. But I like what it looks like. So let's go back to the frame. Uh, let's make this maybe four by four. Um, that might be a little big. We'll leave it at three by three. And I want my anchor point for Y position to be 0.5. Nope, sorry. X. That's the one I want. So I can set its position here. Uh, position is the same. Uh, this is pixels. Uh, X and Y. Let's actually open it. So X. I want it to be 0.5 of the way across the screen always, right in the middle. And uh, for Y, uh, let's just have it 0.5 as well and set this to 0.5. So right now it'll always be in the very middle of our screen. And it is actually a little, little small. So I'll change it to 0.4, 0, 0.4 and no pixels perfect so we got that yeah even bigger great so now we're going to insert object text button and i need to go back here get my button that i got and put it in let's see ah uh, yes Okay, this is going to be fun. No, it's not too bad. Okay, so we have our frame, we have our image. Uh, so let's insert another image label. And this one we're going to name 
background and this one we're gonna name button uh, button stroke I'm gonna give this one this and we're gonna set the z index to two so the background the z index is one uh, two is gonna be further forward if we set it to zero now let's set this one to two so if this one was two it would render in front but this one I'm gonna leave at one because I want that at the very back of all this UI I want this one on two and I want my text button on three so that it'll show up over my background uh, background gets that and then that's uh, wait uh, button stroke there one cool uh, let's change the size uh, I'm gonna go 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 cool uh, positioning uh, let's see why I'm gonna set it like 0.6 And scale for this actually, I need like 0.2. There we go. And I want 0.2. Uh, Whoops, not 2. That'll be off the screen. Uh, there's 0.2. Now let's make it 0.15. Perfect. Uh, so this is button stroke, and we're going to say. Uh, we're going to make it a green color here. And I wanted a light color, but not too light. And we'll go with that for now. And then this text button needs to have the same size and position. Point three, point uh, zero. Uh, oops. Uh, so the plan is what I'm doing here is I'm going to make this button and we can change this text to something. I know there's some good. No, not Arial. Antique, maybe? There's a. Uh, somewhere there was a nice. We'll go with antique, I think, and we'll change the size of the text um, to, I don't know, 48. We'll make it say yes. We'll make it be I. I, yes, I do. 64, background one, uh, position. 0.15 oops 0.15 and the other one was 0.6 there we go that's what I'm looking to do and we can change the scale for height to fit it in there we go that's looking nice uh, the background for that could Maybe be a different color slightly. Um, there we go. Kind of like the bluer one. There we go. So we can do that. And then we'll duplicate this and we'll move it over to say point. Five. Point five five. There we go. And this one will be nay. And then we'll make another. Um, this will be. Yeah, you know, we'll just leave it at what it is. Come on, duplicate. And then move its position. 
and then we'll change the color to more of a red that looks great so now we have that and then we need to add one more text label so I've used text buttons for both of these so you can click them and then I'm going to use a text label for this um, because we uh, you don't need to be able to click it so text label here uh, size let's do 0 0.8 0 0.5 0 and then position 0.1 so I left 0.8 here so we have 0.2 to work with on either side I'll set it to 0.1 so it's positioned in the middle and down I don't know point gotta be 0.1 I guess down background one and then we'll make it might ye be interested in buying this here reward chest and we'll make the whole thing a lot bigger and we'll wrap the text and we'll make it antique sweet that's looking nice so we've got that so we have I and A uh, smoothness of this uh, feels a little odd but um, we're gonna go with it for now it looks pretty good um, I'm gonna make this a little more red that's a little too much there we go okie dokie nice so that is our UI um, and we're gonna go text label Um, and I'm going to change the size of this to be 0.4. I think I can get it 0.3. Okay, it's got to be 0.4 or 3.5. Let's see. How small can we go? I'm trying to get one more. Okay, we'll go three two so that's there and then I need to duplicate this and this is gonna be uh, this is cost info and this is text is gonna be cost one tenth and we'll just make it 100 and I need the size can be a lot smaller and the position along the Y can be down at like that. Um, let's bring it up just ever so slightly. Uh, uh, where's the size here? Cost. Uh, let's see, what if we. That's going to make it too hard to see, potentially. Um, cost info. I do like it kind of golden colored, but it can't be too golden colored. And then I'm going to actually increase the size of the font a little bit. Uh, no. There we go. We'll just leave it at that. So there we go. Um, we've got some UI there. Um, right now, 
it will only work with cash um, but we're gonna have to script it so that'll be the next step uh, we've got our UI ready uh, for work with our uh, leaderboard cache and we've got our chest all set up so in our next video we are going to actually script this UI now so that when you click on the chest it's gonna pop up and you can actually click these buttons and whatnot so until then have a great day and I'll see you later